Greetings, and welcome to the second video program in the Preconditional Protocols and Orientation video system for Unit 13, TF2, Waking Your Subconscious. This video cassette has been specially designed to utilize powerful psychological exercises, along with cutting-edge technology, and your own brain's neuroplasticity, to allow Unit 13 to access the deepest energy potential of your incredible mind. This will be required to increase the likelihood of prime form cognogenesis. Before we begin, let's go over the required checklist to be sure you have everything in order, so that we won't end up with any negative or unexpected outcomes from this program. First on the checklist, ensure that you are alone, and will not be disturbed, for the entire duration of this program. It's critical that you do not become distracted, as working with the brain in such a way is a very delicate process. Second, turn off all light sources, except for your television or monitor that you are using for this program. This aids tremendously in your brain's ability to focus, but it also can make you feel vulnerable or frightened, which are beneficial to this program achieving the desired results. Ideally, you would wait until nightfall to complete this part of the program. Third, ensure that your volume is turned up to a level where no outside or ambient noise is able to leak through your headset. This too, helps with focus, but it also aids in those feelings of fear, and vulnerability, which are where our deepest and most complex selves are rooted. Fourth, have your workbook open to the TF2 section and have your writing utensil nearby, as some exercises will require you to write. However, if for any reason you do not have your workbook, simply grab a regular notebook or some sheets of paper, and write your name in TF2 at the top of each sheet you use. You will need to hand those into your program liaison, and they will take care of transferring the data from there. Once all of these conditions have been met, you're ready to continue to the next part. Now is the time to make sure that your Neurovisor headset is correctly equipped and connected. If you need any assistance, or are looking for more information regarding the Neurovisor, be sure to check the section titled Equipment and Connection in your Unit 13 Program Handbook. This will be your final opportunity to pause playback for the rest of this tape. Pausing after this point will cause a disruption, which could carbonite your fucking skull interrupt the data being collected by your headset. Your screen is about to gradually turn red. Once it is completely red, the program has officially begun, and the point of no return has been crossed. You have 10 seconds. Photosensitivity warning. Our first section induction contains bright flickering. If you have a photosensitivity disorder, it is best that you do not look at your screen. Close or shield your eyes, and just listen. Once the tone in your headset changes, it will be safe to look at your screen again. Induction will begin in 5 seconds. Beginning induction. Please stare at your screen for 30 seconds. Induction complete. This exercise will present you with five separate sets of words. Each set will contain six words. For each set, you will have 10 seconds to choose the one word out of the six that you feel doesn't fit with the others, and write it down in your workbook, or on an appropriately labeled piece of paper. 
If you do not have your workbook, simply write the numbers 1 through 5 vertically on your paper, and place your answers beside each corresponding number. Now, let's begin. Priming complete. This next section is a specialized variation of the Stroop test, which will measure multiple facets of your reaction to congruent and incongruent stimuli, while also examining how you deal with high stress, high anxiety situations. You will be shown a series of faces with emotional expressions, and the word for each emotion written on each face. The word could match the expression, like the word happy on a smiling face, or they might not match, like the word angry appearing on a sad face. You are about to begin the first testing phase of this section. This will be the easiest phase, with each subsequent phase becoming more and more difficult. Look directly at your screen and state your responses out loud. Phase 1 testing begins in 5 seconds.
this is Troy with Evervigil Security. Am I speaking with Charlotte Melgren? Uh, 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 yeah, yes. What happened this time? Uh, Miss Melgren, we've detected some unusual activity at Forever Friends Kennels. Our system alerted us that kennel door one was open and enclosed unexpectedly, followed by a power outage. Is it correct that your primary residence is the first unit at Forever Friends? Uh, yeah, yeah, but... Okay, so I'm not the one who got the security system. It was my dad. So I don't know if there's some way to fix this or whatever, but you guys have called me in the middle of the night like five times in the past couple of weeks, and it's all turned out to be false alarms every time. I, I'm so sorry about that, ma'am. I, I, I can take a look into why that might be happening if you'd like, uh, but first I need to be sure that you're in a safe situation. Are you currently alone? Yeah, it's just me. But I, I'm looking out the window right now, and everything seems fine. I mean... The power's out, but it literally goes out all the time over there, so I'm just going to go flip the breaker. Uh, Ms. Morgan, we strongly advise against going outside or into the kennels, especially with the power outage. We can call out a police officer dispatch and they can make wait, sure it's wait, wait, safe wait, wait, before wait, you... Wait, hold on. Is, is there any way we don't have to do that? I have to be up at 6, and the last time it took them over an hour to get here for nothing. Please. Ma'am. Like I said, this has happened a ton of times, and plus the dogs aren't even barking. If someone was in there, they'd be going crazy by now. Ma'am, I could get in a lot of trouble if anything happened, and I didn't call anyone. It's company policy. How about this? I'll keep you on the phone while I go, okay? I'll switch to my cord list and everything. If anything happens at all, you can call the police. Miss Melgren. I will even grab my flashlight. Please. I just, I, I have a lot going on tomorrow, and I really just want to get back to sleep. I, uh, well, uh, just let me at least check tonight's footage to make sure everything looks okay mm. first, all right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Go for it. Okay. Let me see here. head over really quick like real quick well there's no motion alert in tonight's log so okay just please be quick and safe thank you seriously i'm gonna go throw some clothes on and um you know grab the cordless okay yeah all right i'll look into the false alarms you mentioned and see if i can figure out what's going on with that okay be right back On the cordless. Got my flashlight. Still there? Um, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, heading outside now and then going right across to the kennels, so just hang on another sec. Okay. inside and yep the power is definitely out uh, okay i'm just gonna go check on the dogs real quick on my way to the basement but everything seems fine i'm i'm really not sure this is a good idea miss mogren so, listen something's wrong with the recording as i'm seeing of your home what do you what do you mean wrong honestly i'm i'm not sure exactly what i'm looking at here Seems like the camera's glitched out or something, but the previous calls you've been getting, they, they weren't false alarms. Yeah, again, I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, something's been stalking around your property for a while now. I, I'm not sure how the previous people who called you didn't notice. Okay, 
something like what an animal or no no well i i don't know actually i just listen i i just think you should go back to your house okay please okay okay yeah you you win let me just make sure that the dogs are okay and i'll head back over they're just right here okay thank you i'm gonna try to look over tonight's footage again just in case it's decided to work okay hi babies hi mama it's um what's wrong um i don't know you okay you okay buddy charlotte what's going on the dogs aren't moving they're all just standing here well it's late so maybe they're just tired or something uh, but let's just get no, you back not it but they're just standing here not moving like at all like not even their eyes it, it's like oh my god it's, it's like they're fucking dead oh, but they're fuck. not what the fuck what what miss melgren you need to get out of there and return to your house I immediately i'm sending your information to the police right now what's going on get the hell out okay. of the kennel okay. now fuck. fuck i'm leaving <laughs> what was that are you okay <laughs> charlotte charlotte are you okay it just, you ripped my flashlight. Charlotte? You ripped my flashlight. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Something, something ripped it out of my hand. I can't, I can't see anything. Please, please fucking help me. Please, please. Something's in here. Wait. Okay, Charlotte, I've sent your information to the North Adams PD, okay? They responded that an officer will be there in three minutes. Uh, if you can find your way out. Charlotte, listen, you need to try your best to be calm and just listen to me, okay? Can you find your way out? I'm trying. 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 I'm trying.
think my skin is moving. an important test. This test is made up of five statements. You will check true or false beside the corresponding number for each statement in your workbook. If you do not have your workbook, simply write one through five vertically on a piece of paper, and write T or F beside each number. You will have five seconds to respond to each statement. Your test begins now. Statement number one. This video system is physically changing your brain. This video system leverages the principles of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections. Through these specific audiovisual stimuli and cognitive exercises, it's influencing specific neural pathways in your brain, thereby physically altering the structure and function of your brain in response to this experience. Statement number two. Only a very small percentage of people will never betray their moral values, no matter the situation. Under the right circumstances, such as intense peer pressure, survival situations, or psychological manipulation, it's proven that anyone can be made to betray even the strongest attachments to moral values. Statement number three. Through your conscious mind, you make your own decisions. A large portion of human decision-making occurs at an unconscious level. The conscious mind rationalizes these decisions after the fact, making the person believe they made a deliberate choice. Choice is an illusion. Statement number four. We all have our moral thoughts and desires, but it's critical to focus our energy on the positive aspects of ourselves, so that we can be better people. The darkest aspects of your mind are part of a larger psychological entity that resides deep within your unconscious. This shadow entity cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be ignored. You cannot subdue it, lock it away, or eliminate it. Even attempting any such thing has the opposite effect, only making it stronger, darker, and more dangerous. Statement number five. Opening the door to your shadow psyche and embracing your darkest urges as a part of yourself is the only way to live a fulfilling life. Testing complete. What you are about to experience has been carefully constructed, in combination with previous exercises, to create a connection point between your conscious and unconscious mind. This is our final section of this tape. Please watch and listen very closely. Do not look away or shield your eyes for any reason. Please remember, your fear and vulnerability are essential components to this process. Activation of the subliminal bridge will begin in 5 seconds.
well done on completing the TF2, waking your subconscious, video cassette. Please allow your brain to rest for at least 12 hours before continuing this video system. Once you have rested and you are ready, enter the cassette labeled TF3, The Shadow, Communion and Assimilation. This is the end of this tape.